Hello, Grandma DC here. I'm on my old camera because I can't get the new one to work, Gabby. It's okay. I don't know why. It records for like two minutes and then it shuts off. And then I start it and push record. Two minutes, it shuts off. I repower, record, but it's only recording for two minutes and then it is shutting down and erasing the two minutes it recorded before. My son says he'll look at it when he's here in six months or whatever, assuming I live that long. So I uh, was also having trouble getting it to import onto the new computer. It just doesn't recognize that camera. So we're going back to my old little camera that I cannot tell. Uh, well, there we go. It has one little screen. I can't tell if I'm centered or not because it goes off after just about 10, 15 seconds. But we're going to go out and feed the chickens. I'm going to carry this camera along. I'm not going to shut it off. And I'm going to hopefully show you the chickens. And my eggs are due to hatch in about three days. They're quail. Texas A&M's. I got them while I was gone from y'all. There's old Betsy. Hope you can see her. There you go. My trash. I can't get anybody to take out. There's the eggs. I got three chicken eggs. Tiny Tim is the father of those. And all these Texas A&Ms. Uh, Lee was cleaning and threw away my styrofoam to wrap around that. I forget that some people don't know the styrofoam is for insulation on incubators. <laughs> and he said, you want me to throw away the boxes? And I said, yeah. Threw them away with the styrofoam. Here's my boys. I hope you can see them. I'm just aiming in general at the thing. And uh, they are Texas A&M's. I got them off eBay eggs. Uh, a friend of mine hatched them. Scud, quit eating quail poop. Yeah. <laughs> and it ended up with two females. There's my girls, and they're about picked to death. Oh, thank you for the eggs, sweetheart. There's another egg in there. Uh, yeah, the boys have done a number on them, so we had to separate for a while. And then we'll make this into the uh, a little hatchery for the babies. And the girls will have to go back with the boys. I'm sorry. If I had another cage, I'd separate them completely. So, I uh, talked to Mom today, and her nerves are shot because of me and my cancer. And there's nothing I can do about that. So uh, she's going to have to get out and uh, whew, have to sit down for a minute. Walking around the house just does that. Anyway, she uh, is not feeling good, and it's all because of me. And uh, she's going to have to take care of herself for a while. So I am going to get out there and feed these chickens. Oh, I just thought I've got to get the feed. I'm going to have to shut this camera off and restart it. Scared it'll erase what I did again. Oh, well. You know how it goes, guys. I try my best. If it doesn't record again, like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. <laughs> I won't be back at the hospital until the 21st. And I'm going to have to have a PET scan because apparently the new her 2 is not working. Do you hear that high pitch? That's my quail. Beep, 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 beep. I've gotten used to it. They're not happy being separated. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't think the in her two uh, is working. We went through uh, Taxol. That was one that made my hair fall out. Herceptin Progetta. Herceptin and Progetta shots. Now we're on in her two. And um, I've had some lump swelling, so I don't think it's working either. But we won't know until after the 21st, and I have my PET scan. Uh, but the doctor was concerned enough to do it early. And I'm pretty certain it's not working. They said they have other things we can try after that. But guys, I've been going on three years with this, and the average lifespan is three and a half. So I've got six months left, if I'm lucky. And um, there's just so many things I want to do. <laughs> but I've been taking care of business, trying to get legal things done. Um, my son was missed me to a lawyer, and the lawyer quoted me $150 to do a paper to to make him my arbitrator of death 
that he can make the decision to kill me or not if I go down. And uh, I went back to fill out the paper, took the 150 with me. My son wasn't with me, and I saw the male lawyer, not the female, and he wanted 225. That's the way they do us older women. We go alone. Comment below. Try to buy a car as a single older woman. That's a joke. <laughs> Talk about getting ripped off. And uh, lawyers do it too, apparently. So. Anyway, I'm going to shut you off. And uh, I'm going to try to record again when I get out to the chickens. Okay. I made it out. There is Snow White. And red and peaches. I know, girl. Where's Timmy? There he is. Hello, Tim. All right. Come on, guys. Here you go. Have some food, babies. They're not too hungry. Pop keeps them pretty well fed. I am just trying to top them up. And uh, I will change their water and I'll let you see the girl all right it's good leave them alone hi look you there there's BC big chick the rooster that hatched in my grandchild's hand two years ago well it was 2020 when they were staying with me and uh, I got four girls that are new from last spring that Sheila bought me one light tan over there I hatched isn't she beautiful? They're all part Ericana. And then Sheila got me some unknowns and they ended up being barred rocks. Looky how pretty. There's two of them. Hi, girls. Hi, guys. How you doing? There's Friendly. Yeah, there's my old, old girls. I don't think they're laying anymore, the black ones. They're too old. Say hello. I'll pet ya. Okay. Let's dump that nasty water out, huh? Let's say you. The weather has just been unbelievable lately. It really has. I've not been letting them out because we have predators. Raccoons, specifically. And uh, I'm not taking that chance since I had... I got some of my ceramas back. The woman I gave them to gave me back five of them. And um, raccoon broke in and killed them all you know, overnight. It was devastating. So I won't let my girls out. Maybe this summer. But I have to tell you. It's February in Missouri and it's just like spring. It's crazy. The weather has been so good. I even have flies in my house all winter long. Tell me there's not climate change. Man, it's been something. And all the snow has gone north and all the tornadoes and thunderstorms have gone south. It's like we're sitting in paradise. <laughs> my son's disappointed. He likes snow. All right, guys, I'm going to finish. with both my hands, I'm going to finish feeding the girls, and then I'll meet you back in the house for our update on the cancer and an outro. Okay, I made it back inside. <laughs> Woo, I need to text mom and tell her the chickens are fed. I'll get the cats and the dogs and the quail done too. Anyway, uh, so well, I told you in the last section that, you know, the cancer looks like it's spreading. Um, but uh, they keep telling me they've got other things to hold it off for a little while, so let's hope. And uh, as long as I can live here at home and keep managing, it is getting harder. Uh, I have begged, and I mean begged, uh, to go to a hip doctor. I guess they're called orthopedists. They did send me to one. They called him a sports doctor. And that guy said there was nothing he could do because I have stage 4 cancer. So, But there's got to be something. The palliative team I had are no longer working on Tuesdays, which is when I have to go see my oncologist. And uh, they said they would call, but that was a month ago. They haven't called. So I think I've lost my palliative team. Uh, Mom said, don't call them. But uh, I find that almost impossible to get through the 
Press 1 now. If you need to go to the bathroom, press 5. To repeat these options, you get lost in phone heck when you try to call the hospital. <laughs> it's just nuts. Um, I did manage to get a hold of the social worker today, and we are going to fill out DNRs, uh, paperwork and stuff. I don't want them to be absolved of uh, having to treat me. They wanted me to sign a blue sheet that that said if I died or had a heart attack during uh, infusion, they could just watch me die and do nothing and be completely absolved from any responsibility. And I said, oh, no, no, no. Save me. Let my son come and make the decision if I'm brain dead. Uh, you're not just going to sit there and watch me die and be completely, well, you signed the paper. We don't have to do anything. So, yeah, no, I'm not signing that. <laughs> But, so, you know, my son knows that there's no hope and I'm brain dead or whatever. Full blood. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, so, uh, now you all know. <laughs> Not that it'll do much good. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm shaking, so my camera's probably going to shake. My film is going to be terrible. But, guys, if it will just upload into the computer and get into my old editing program that Kathy sent me, my Microsoft editor, <laughs> love it, love it. If it will just go from here to there and get into editor, yoo-hoo, we're back in business. But uh, the last time I tried with the new camera, it didn't work. So uh, I'm going to let you go. That's all the news is news. The new quail are due to hatch in about three to four days. That's going to be extremely difficult to uh, clean out that cage. But, you know, as Mother keeps saying, just put one foot in front of the other and pretend you're not sick and it'll go away. <laughs> That's my mom's advice. So there you go, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.